Good evening. First responders found 42-year-old Sherry Glassby dead inside her home on Claremont Avenue, but the coroner can't confirm exactly how she died yet. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner talked to neighbors this afternoon. She's here now with how they are handling this loss. Mm -hmm. Neighbors tell us they didn't know Sherry Glassby very well, some just meeting her once before. But despite those limited interactions, her death still hits the community hard. The caution tape lining Sherry Glassby's house may be keeping others away today. But it's the times she crossed that border that neighbors remember. Nice lady, you know. Maria Teresa Tarango lives across the street. Like any good neighbor, she occasionally let Glassby borrow a ladder or invited her to church events. She went to the shield. Next door neighbors Ernestine and Herbert Almo met Glassby once when they moved in last July. Their grandchildren like to play in the yards together during the summer. With the houses sitting just feet apart from one another, the Almos could smell the smoke coming in their bedroom window last night. Ernestine thought it could be from her granddaughters in the kitchen. And I said, Y'all sure? Y'all ain't cooking nothing? They said no again. That's when the girls heard the fire trucks and rushed to the front door. She called my name twice. I said, what you want, girl? Your neighbor's house is on fire. I said, what? She said, your neighbor's house is on fire. That's when I jumped up. It only took 13 minutes to control the fire. But when first responders stayed on scene for far longer, the Herberts knew something was wrong. I was praying for the Lord. Wasn't nobody in that house. That's my little kids or something like that. The loss, leaving neighbors shocked and hurt. It's just kind of unbelievable that that, that actually happened, you know. It's sad. I mean, family members were crying last night, and it was very sad. Yeah. Glassby's cause and manner of death are still pending. Both are under investigation, but the coroner's office says there's no evidence of foul play. And as for what caused the fire, that's still unclear as well tonight. All right. Thank you so much.